Who is it? Randall? Sorry to wake you, Tess. What the hell you want so early? Can I come in? I guess so. I wasn't asleep. I was making coffee. You want some? Yeah, coffee would be great. Thanks. <coughs> Say, you know anything about a broke-down Ford extended cab out on Highway 81? <laughs> Good grief. Every other car in Oklahoma's a pickup. Is that how come you came pounding on my door at the crack of dawn? Yeah, this one here it belongs to a man over in Cashin. We got a got an amber alert out on it, a child abduction. Child abduction? Yeah, mama took her son and run off. Her own son? Since when is that child abduction? It sounds more like a weekend getaway from a no good husband to me. Who is that? Yeah, that's my new partner, Conley. She's just up from the city. Mm, yeah, New York City. Hello, Officer Conley. Welcome to my home. Wake up, Perry. Wake up. Wake up. Shh. That would be my husband, Bob. I expect you've heard a lot about him from Randall and anybody else in town. He was the sheriff here for 35 years. Hang on there. I hadn't even gotten my bed made yet. You got no right to go up there. Randall, this is illegal. Not if we're in pursuit, Tess. Pursuit? The plates on the truck, they belong to Merlin. dollar for every time I had to haul that girl's butt back here, drunk or worse. <laughs> Thought maybe she'd settle down a bit after she had her boy. Hell, maybe she will yet. Conley, let's pack it up. I ran the plates myself, but it's only gonna be a matter of time till my young go get her cohort out there runs them too. If you talk to her, you best tell her she needs to get herself on home, turn herself in, because it's only gonna get worse if she don't. Thanks for the coffee. Now, you know I'm gonna have to impound the truck until the owner comes for it. It's her, all right. He was such a cute boy. Polite. Kidnapped. Damn. I sure hope he's all right. She mentioned anything to you about where they might be headed? No. Yeah, wait. The boy, he said something about California. He wanted oysters <laughs> here in Watonga. Police, open up! What the hell? Oh. It's about damn time. I ain't done nothing wrong. You got anybody else staying here with you, son? No. What can you tell me about this car out here? 
bitch stole mine. At least she left me hers. So she was here, your wife, Merle? Raved him. Excuse me? Asshole husband of hers raped, raped him. Fucker raped my boy. Put your hands down, son. Look at me now. How do you know this man hurt your son? She told me. You have reason to believe that she's telling you the truth? Uh, yeah. She's a good girl. One thing Merle ain't. It's a liar. child services over this latest issue. It's a crazy meth head looking for sympathy. You don't really believe him. Hell, I don't know. But it could not hurt to look into the adopted father. I did. Nothing more than traffic infractions and DUI that got tossed. Kiwanis Club, Little League coach, church man. I've known plenty of church men with lots of secrets. Kip, you all right, son? Shh, it's okay. She's gone. She can't hurt you no more. He's fine. Scared. Tired. I'm just glad he's safe. He's afraid you'd hurt yourself, so they invoked a hold. He can't do that. How yeah. can he do that? Yeah, they can. It's the law. This is not about the law, Randall. This is about a mother's rights to protect her kid. This is about my right to protect my kid. Randall, please, you got to get me out of here. once or twice, it can never happen again. It can't ever happen again. Tommy could do all kinds of terrible things to Kip in 48 hours. You think about that, Randall. You think about that. 48 hours, two days. Behave yourself. You locked up the wrong person, Randall. You locked up the wrong person.
about time you never just keep talking Tommy please give me an excuse to put the next one through your head Bitch shot me. Arrest her. Arrest her. Come on now.